Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, I thought Anna was going to join our party, but that didn't happen, unfortunately, because I don't know anything about this game, apparently. In this episode, I'm going to be selling some jank that I said I was going to be selling in the last episode off camera, but I didn't do it off camera, so that's kind of unfortunate because I don't ever prepare or do things properly or know what I'm talking about half the time. Uh, so yeah, let's see what I could be selling. I guess we'll be buying some more Thunder for Robin. Eh, we really don't need to. Oh, hi, Lou! My kitty's walking around. Hopefully she doesn't walk on the keyboard while we're uh, doing this. That'd be kind of unfortunate. Uh, we should buy a heal for Lissa, probably. Uh, she's, eh, she's not running out too badly right now. I guess we're good. Uh, we do have a iron axe on sale right now. What's an energy drop do? Oh, we got ourselves another merchant. Is it the same as before? I'm not sure. Uh, energy drop that permanently increases strength by two. We should definitely just buy that so we could have it. A uh, concoction of source 20 HP to the user. Iron axe, I don't really care. I guess we're good for now. And she's gone. I uh, got heal vulnerary, iron. Blah, blah, blah. I think we are good. We could go into inventory and increase strength by two. Well, we want to give strength to, I guess it's good to give to Krom because he's a physical attacker and we're definitely going to be using him throughout the game. So, uh, I guess so. Wait, did I just use it or is it in the convoy? I guess I used it. That was very. I was expecting like a da 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 da, or something like that. Luck by two. Luck is a dodging ability. I guess that would be good for Robin because we need to keep her alive. Hopefully that was the right decision. Hopefully not. Everyone's just like, no. Why are you doing these things? Because I like torturing all y'all. Let's give Sumia. The superior lands. We need to do that. Trade to. Uh. Man, how do I do this? It's just so confusing. How about I just store it for now, and then Sumia, I will go over here and have her take the superior lands. So you can't equip it. Great. Beast killer. Iron Lance, Silver Lance. We're a bit low here. Lances. Frederick, can you equip that lance? You got a bunch of stinking lances, though. So you, can never, you could use the Superior Lance. You already got one with you, though, buddy. Oh, uh, whatever, I guess. I think we're good for now. We got new support on... Whoa, we got a lot of supports opened up. Okay, we got Krom and Sumia. We got Listen, Frederick. Uh... Slowly install, finally. Uh, I'm going to have fun in editing, that's for sure. Well, let's go over here, I guess. And before we begin, we will start talking to a bunch of people. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hmm? Hello, Samia. Did you need something? No. Robin is just looking for you. Hmm. Oh, right. The strategy meeting. Poor Robin does love to. Ah! Oh! Captain! Are you alright? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. I just tripped on a pebble. Gods, how embarrassing. It's because you're so exhausted. You've been working too hard lately. No. I'm fine, Samia. And besides, we're all tired. Such endless fighting wears on everyone. Krom, you've no need to don a brave face for my sake. You carry twice the burden of anyone. It's only natural you're exhausted. Thank you. You're kind to say so. But in truth... Everyone looks to their commander for inspiration and strength. An army is only as strong as its leader. The instant I show weakness, we're through. It must be so hard for you. Right. I'll be fine. And please, don't speak of this conversation to anyone, alright? <laughs> no, of course not. I would never. <laughs> At ease, Sumia. And stop worrying so much. 
It'll take more than a few battles to bring this soldier to his knees. Oh. I know. You're the greatest warrior that I've ever... Huh? I just realized something. Hmm? What is it? But... You trusted me with a secret. It's our first secret together. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it is. Well... Don't worry. My lips are sealed tighter than a bear trap. So long as you promise to take a map before a strategy meeting. What? I'll just tell Robin that you've been delayed. Really? And if I don't agree to your terms? <laughs> then I'll tell everyone the mighty crumb is bested by a mere pebble. Right. That sounds like blackmail. Still, I suppose a short nap couldn't hurt. <sighs> it's so thrilling to be able to help out like this. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams. <sighs> that girl has a strange knack for getting her way. Promise me to obtain support level C that'll help us out in battle. Up next is Lisa and Frederick, part two, Electric Boogaloo. Shall we then? It's time for your lessons. And don't bother trying to run away this time. I'll fetch my horse if need be. <sighs> me and my big mouth. Frederick, please. My whole body's one big bruise after yesterday. Really? A clear indication you need to train more. You're badly out of shape. Now come, you'll never get stronger by making excuses. I won't get any stronger if I die from training too hard either. I need a break, Frederick. Do you know what a break is? Right. I'm familiar with the concept, yes, but it's not something I engage in personally. What? How is that possible? People need to let off steam or they explode. It's very messy. No. I exist to serve and protect you and Krom. That is my role as a knight. The oath I took did not include stipulations for time off. <laughs> you know what? I think you just don't know how to relax. Huh? Wait, I thought it was joking. Was I right? You don't know how to relax? Shall we then? Enough talk. Adopt your stance. We'll practice dodging arrows. More oh. like dodging questions. Alright, fine. I could see this is going to take some doing. So how about this? In exchange for you making me stronger, I'll train you in the art of slacking off. You should feel honored. I'm the best slacker in all of you, Lissy. What? Milady, we really don't have time for... Hey. If we don't make the time to waste, you'll never learn to waste time. Wasting time learning how to better waste time seems a frightful waste of time indeed. Exactly, so let's get started. Perhaps this time I should be the one running away. Listen, Frederick of Attain, support level B. And finally, Sully and Stahl. Let's see if her interaction with him is any more happy and positive than it was with Callum. <sighs> Thanks for training with me today. That was a great session. Hell no! Giving up so soon? What a wimp! How could you call yourself a knight if you if you if you poop out so soon? The legendary knights who served with Marth would never give up so easily. You mean Cain and Abel? Wow, I just got the joke. <laughs> the bull and the panther from the old stories. Yeah. That's the kind of strength we need to win this war, and it's the kind of strength I aspire to. Nah. Well, sure. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a hero of legend and song? And I just don't think I have it in me. I'm more of a mellow type. <laughs> then take that attitude over to the kitchen, you darn scullery maid. I plan to run circles around those rusty old legends. You're something else. Or perhaps I could stand to be a little more forceful in my training. <laughs> darn right, I won't stop until I'm built like the bull. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sure you'll... Wait, you're the bull? bull in this scenario? <laughs> you got a problem with that? Uh, no, 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 that's just fine. I guess that makes me the panther, huh? Yeesh, I've got a work cut out for me. I don't know who to pair Sully up with. She's just sort of angry with everyone. But, I don't know, Stall seems to be able to take it uh, well enough. She sort of laughs it along. And that's it for everyone. Okay, 
a lot of extra boosts with that all those support conversations so it's up to uh the next area which i was already standing on top of us so i don't know why i was walking around like that paralog six or chapter six excuse me i know what this game is all about sort of kind of What are you doing out so late? Oh, hi, Robin. Just dueling with some unpleasant thoughts. Listen. Tomorrow we march to Regna Ferox to request additional soldiers. But there's something you should know first. Not everything Grangle said was a lie. The last exalt, my father, waged war on Plegia for many years. The violence, it was a brutal campaign, ending only with his death 15 years ago. Plegia rightfully remembers their suffering, but his war was no kinder to his own people. As the fighting dragged on, our army became more and more diminished. Farmers who could barely wield a pitchfork were conscripted and sent into their deaths. Soon there was no food at all and the kingdom began to collapse. I was young, but I remember those dark times. I know how they affected Emerion. <clears throat> Such an experience would change anyone. <sighs> Indeed, when our father died before her tenth year, he left her quite the legacy. Pleachia's desire for vengeance, our own people's unbridled rage. My sister became a target for blame from all sides. Her own subjects began to hurl insults and stones. She still bears the scar from one. But she never let them see her pain. Only Lissa and I understood. It must have been so hard. <laughs> I cannot claim to know how she does it, Robin. I could never greet such hostility with warmth and patience. While our people mocked and vilified her, she reached out and healed them. She brought soldiers home to their families. She ended the war. And when Ulysses' spirit was mended and the people forgave her, she never resented them for it. She represents the best of this haildom, the part most worth protecting. She is peace. But some men would take advantage of that, Men like King Grangle. The day he understands peace will be the day death gives it to him. So perhaps I must be death's agent. Emeryn would never order him killed, nor would I wish her to. Right. Well spoken, sir. <clears throat> Marth. Good evening to you. How did you get here? <sighs> that cleft in the castle wall behind the maple grove. <sighs> there? But how would you... Crom? You know the place? Yes. I bashed in part of the wall while training the shepherds. It's only a small hole, and I'd thought it was well concealed, but... Right. Your secret is safe with me. I came here only to warn you. Hmm? Warn us. Right. The Exalt's life is in danger. No. Emeryn? That's absurd. She's guarded at all hours. <sighs> what if... What if I told you I have seen the future? Would you believe me? A future where Emeryn is killed. Here. Tonight. Seen the future? Have you lost your wits? My apologies. I expected you wouldn't believe me. So allow me to prove it. I'm about to save your life from him.
I trust this proof will suffice. Wait, you're... you're a woman? And quite the actress, too. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out until just now. <sighs> and suddenly battle! Okay, cool! Uh, our units, what do we got for us? Uh, same amount of people as last time. I guess this is an okay group. Let's uh, switch out Viron for Rickon, I guess. So I'm going to switch for this one. Uh, for the map, I guess I'll actually... Oh, this is actually an important one for uh, planning out in advance. Because you got all these singing guys. They're actually invading our territory this time. We're not trying to take over theirs. So, we need to defend Emeryin, who is right here. And we got Marth as well, who's going to be helping us out as an ally. But let's make sure all the pairs that we want to make are right next to each other right from the get-go so these guys are all close to each other that's what I was mainly concerned about Lanku is with Sumia that's good uh, I guess I could switch Rickon over here with Sully and that'll be it okay let's fight remember I want the emblem in my hand and Emerine dead on the floor no nothing distracts you from either purpose Oh, whoa, did I just hear that right? We're to kill the Exalt? I'm just here for the plunder. You know, line my pockets with some royal goods. The Exalt's such a sweet lady. Sure, I'll rob her blind, but I never harm her. Sister. Krom, take Lissa and flee while you still have time. Think again. We're not leaving you. Just stay where it's safe. The assassins should scatter if we could defeat their leader. Hmm. Two assassins and the little princeling was not even wounded. Wait, some of these actors do not belong on this stage. You talking about me? <laughs> Can it be? After years of searching. Tonight, fate truly piles the gifts at my feet. <laughs> Falchion is gleaming. What's wrong? No. It's not your concern. Seems like nothing ever is with you. I'm so sorry. No. Just stay by Emerion's door. We'll handle the killers. Krom, please, flee while you still can. You each have but one life, and I do not wish to it be weighed against mine. Unfortunately, that's not an option for us, but I don't think we would have it any other way. We're all going to get out of this together. Marth gave us a chance to make a difference in this world. Let's not let it go to waste. As you may have seen, one of the enemies was having second thoughts about the fight we're about to have. This one right here. He actually has a name. He's not a generic background character. If we could get Krom over to him in time, we may be able to have him join our side. Could Frederick reach him? He cannot reach him right in one go. It's also kind of important that you don't have him accidentally get killed in a counterattack. This guy can join us, but if he gets killed by one of us, then we lose him. So it's kind of important for us to keep our distance for now. I'm going to have these guys do nothing right now. I know that makes it kind of stupid, but... Uh, you could reach Frederick. That's sort of what I wanted you to do, so... Uh, lose... Uh, let me see. Lanku will pair up with Sumia, like usual. Uh, stall with Sully. Vague, you are unlikable. <laughs> I guess we could bring him over here. 
It's like, Sumia's the one who I want to be getting experience for, but I know she's going to get her butt handed to her, so... Hmm. Let's just go over here and switch to Long Ku for now and see what we can do. See what we can long do with Long Ku. Uh, so I could uh, start with this guy, which is nice. Do a bit of damage. She's a Bronze Lance. I could have at least switched that with an Iron Lance. Uh, or a Beast Killer. I can't switch weapons right now. God darn it. Uh, Vake. Just go down here, I guess. What's up next? We have... Krom, get with... Oh, Robin with Krom. Rickon, you could start with this guy, I guess. Do a little bit of damage. Okay, unfortunately we cannot control Marth right now, but it's nice that he, uh, she's on our side right now. The secret's revealed! Marth is a girl. Do I look any taller? I hope so. And that just falls into the confusion more and more, because, like, first time I played Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought that the original Marth was a girl, but no, Marth is a boy. Like, it took me all the way to, like, when I read his trophy description, it was like, oh, wait, it's a boy? Might be. Uh, I'm gonna do nothing with the rest of our characters, because I don't want to accidentally kill that possible ally. So, no damage to Frederick, which is nice. Finishes him off. Let's get this guy in a little bit closer, if he will. I think he will be attacking us, so hopefully he won't just stay behind and uh, mess things up. You're no warrior. Okay, Lanku is kicking butt like he always does. Better. Not much to say. A lot more enemies to come. Ah, uh, of course they're going for Vague, the weak link. Let's see, we do that. Nothing else, unfortunately. We got Sully up next. Uh, could we do some damage? A little bit. I really should have given her an Iron Lance. I'll do that first thing when I finish this chapter. Rickon, can you survive? Yes, you can. Okay, you even took out a character. Character. Enemy, whatever. And this guy. Please don't take out Sully. That'd be unfortunate. Okay, dodge. Hooray. Okay, move up a little bit. And, wow, we got a lot of singing enemies to deal with. This is not going to be easy to change history, but we got to take what little chance we have and go with it. <sighs> I knew there was wisdom in slipping in with those rogues. Look how these men spawn claw at each other like savages. I will repay my warrant's debt and then wash my hands of their race. <clears throat> Another assassin? No. Pain is not your enemy. What? You know her? Yes. I know of her, and I knew she would come here tonight. Really? Quite the prophet, aren't you? Right. As you say, and I swear to you, pain is an ally. Good. Good enough for me. All right, shepherds. For now, we leave this pain character be. My lord. Is that wise? Yes. Martha has earned our trust. She enjoys her secrets, I know, like her gender for one. But she's also saved our lives, twice, and that's enough for me. You have my gratitude. Are you ready? To the matter at hand. Driving these scoundrels from our castle. We can use all the help we could get. We got ourselves another new ally that we can actually control. Pain. Pain is a bit of an interesting character. She does not fight with swords, lances, axes, anything like that. She uses a beast stone because she is a special kind of species called a Togwell. Probably pronouncing both her name and species incorrectly, so I apologize for that. Uh, for now, I guess I could pair her up with Rickon. And let's see just what Togwell is all about. Uh, we'll switch over to her and see what this does. She is stinking awesome. Stinking adore her character. I love the whole design of her and everything like that. I love the beast stone. She is amazing. So she's definitely going to be a mainstay in our party from here on out. And yes, yeah, she actually joins you afterwards. Uh, let's see what we're going to do now. Speaking of characters that could join us, this guy over here. Yeah, this guy over here. His name is Gaius. Let's see if Crumb could talk some sense into him. <laughs> Drop your weapon or die where you stand. Hey. Easy there, blue blood. I'm not here to hurt anyone. What? Yet you run with a band of assassins. Nope. 
Believe it or not, just trying to make a living. I'm a thief, see? Bust open doors, crack into chests, that kind of thing. This lot said they wanted to break into some type of vault. Nobody said anything about murder. I'd just as soon sit this one out. Good. Then perhaps you'd be willing to prove your good intentions. Huh? Listen to me. We need all the help we could get to save the Exalt's life. You appear capable, and we could use any information you have about our foes. Right. Those good intentions. Fine then, I'll prove my sincerity. If you sweeten the deal. You want gold? Fine, you scoundrel. Let me just... Oops. Hello. Looks like you dropped something. What's in the satchel, hmm? Hmm. Nothing. Candies from my little sister. I'm sure you... Sugar. Candies. As in, sugar candies? Hmm? Well, yes. I assumed they'd be sweet, but... Done. It's a deal. Huh? You'll risk your life for us if I give you a bag of candy? Yep. I said sweeten the deal, didn't I? Don't get me wrong. I'll take the gold, too. Later. Unless you've got more of these. Have you got more of these? Um, I'll ask Lissa. <laughs> okay, I love this thing about sweet in the deal. But yes, guys has joined our crew. We got two and a half new party members right stinking here. Very, very nice. Gaius is a thief class and uses a sword. So we're going to... Uh, we can't take out this guy right now, but Frederick sure can, most likely. There we go. So I don't have to worry about Gaius uh, disappearing now since he's on our team. I believe if he gets KO'd here, he'll still join us at the end of this. Uh, but just in case that's not the case, uh, let's try to keep him alive, I guess. Let's see what he does in battle. Okay, a bit of decent damage. I believe he's all about speed and whatnot, since he's like a ninja and a thief and whatnot. Uh, what's up next? Who else could we, if we get to control pretty, pretty much everyone on this side? Let's go with, uh, Sumia. Have her finish this guy off. Very good. And she gets a level up. Very much need a level up indeed. Maybe I can finally make a difference. Can we make it to your friends? I feel like Sakurai only added Joker into Persona 5 so he could uh, make Smash Bros's Smash Bros. Smash Ultimate's uh, soundtrack even more phenomenal because that's stinking amazing. Uh, let's see, go over here. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got the Persona 5 Dancing Collection. I got Dancing Starlight, Dancing Moonlight, and it came with Dancing All Night as well for Persona 4. Uh, I kind of regretted the purchase at first because I like the story aspect of it, but I hate the dancing gameplay. I'm just not good at rhythm games in the slightest. It was a stinking nightmare, and I played Persona 5 for like a minute. I got to the first dance. I tried to make it the easiest difficulty possible, but I failed miserably, and I hated it. And I was just like, I just wasted a whole bunch of money, didn't I? But uh, I switched over to Persona 4 dancing, and it is insanely story-heavy. Apparently, there's a mode where, like, you could do no dancing, and I've just been doing nothing but story. That might change a bit later on, but I've been having a lot more fun with that one. And I was surprised because I... Just because of how I didn't enjoy Persona 4 nearly as much as 5. But as soon as I saw these characters again, it was just... Like, I was happy again being able to see them all. And like, oh, I miss these guys. I like these characters and whatnot. So it was cool to see them again and get reacquainted. Uh, having a lot more fun with that game. Maybe I could give 5 a better chance. And I'm really feeling a bit better about my purchase. I felt really crummy about it at first when I played 5 for like 5 seconds and I just hated it. But and it's weird, like, I hate rhythm games. And, like, I'm still such a huge fan of Idol Master. Anyone who's come out to one of my Idol Master streams knows that I'm terrible at the game. I've, like, never gotten past the first few dances. So, like, this is for someone who, like, adores sticking Idol Master, I sure do, like, stink at it so i should definitely get that uh fixed if i ever uh, end up let's playing the game because it would be kind of unfortunate if that lp ended in the bad ending that happens if you just play horribly throughout the entire thing uh, to this day I, I honestly would say that idol master 2 has the most heartbreaking bad ending of any video game like i don't want to make a list of that not that i know it'd be super spoilery but video games that have bad endings in them it's just such a fascinating concept that they include that and they make it uh, make that an option where you could go through the entire journey and have it all end in failure. It's really weird, but uh, definitely not something I would recommend, but 
uh, it's just a really cool concept. Now what do I want to do here? There is a treasure here, and there's a treasure right here as well. How's about we let Gaius take that since he's all about the treasure? Uh, we will have him move back over here, I guess. I kind of want to have Lissa heal him, but... Does he have Volinaries? He does not. Uh, I guess we could just protect him for now. The Krom is lower leveled, so... How about this so we can be connected to Frederick? Okay, yeah. But yeah, I don't know like how I've gone so long. I've what I don't understand what the problem is. Like with Idol Master, it's a bit of a different story because it's a very different rhythm game, and I'm not messing up, so I don't understand what it is I'm doing wrong that makes me fail every single time. I think I'm doing everything perfectly, but it just doesn't work. I know that there are some songs in Idol Master where like there aren't enough notes in the song to where it gives you the possibility to even finish the game. Like it'll still count as a failure because you don't have enough. Oh, that's bad. His silver lance broke. Uh, so we switch this over to a different weapon. We got another wind tome. We can give that to Rickon later, I guess. Oh, but yeah. Like, it's weird that they don't give you enough notes to actually make it possible to even beat the game. I think that's just bad game design. Well, I'll openly admit that. So, uh, it's just really seeming weird how that works out. But I just need to get good with Idol Master, really. Oh, my God. I still can adore the franchise, but somehow I'm terrible at the game. I just wish that wasn't the case because I actually like to get through it. Even if I can't understand it. It's still fun to just see more dialogue and whatnot and actually see different faces and make an attempt at understanding what's happening and join it along the way. Uh, he's going to go for Gaius. Uh, maybe I should have blocked him a bit more. Oh, jeez. I should have had him go here. Uh, let's go for... I don't know what I want to do. I'll have you go... Uh, Stall can actually take this guy. Okay, we'll go for it. Go for it. Uh, just like Sully, she's got the same thing. Uh, take a little bit of damage, but finish him off. Very, very nice, very, very nice as he says. And as I say many times in this LP, you know, he's up to level 5. Just look at me go. I forgot to go to the Brox before this. Oh, boy. Uh, huh. Vake, I guess you can get rid of this guy by yourself. Do that. Anyone else? Uh, level up for Vake. Good old Vakey Poo. Uh, the Vake just got a lot of Vakey. You're singing hilarious. Yet I don't have anyone I want to pair him up with. Iron Lance. Uh, go we'll do that for Sumia. Uh, not quite there. Uh, a bit more damage than I would have liked. Okay. Is that it for us? Yes, it is. Oh boy. Yeah, I was worried about that, Gaius. Please don't die. Sugar. Sugar. Got careless and paid the price. Time to beat the beat the feet out of here. I think he'll still join us at the end of this. He's basically joined our crew. I really hope that's the... Oh, that's awkward. Okay. I guess I'll check at the end of this. If he doesn't join us, then uh, it's always me who gives up. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. I'll check at the end of this and see if he joins us. If he doesn't, then I'll replay this chapter and I'll make sure he doesn't die. So the levels may accidentally be inconsistent because of that, but I would like to get him to join us. Okay. Martha's taking some damage. A lot more than I would have liked. Things aren't looking good. I knew I should have healed him. Kind of forgot we were playing defense for a while, so we should definitely actually play like that. That. Okay, very nice. Get that. Uh, Robotoon, weapon level C. Okay, cool. Get rid of one more guy. That's fine by me. No. Huh. I guess we could have... Is there any doorway over here? There isn't. Going through is... This is a door. We don't have a key. You guys are the closest to this stuff over here. You need a chest key, right? 
Does anyone have a chest key? I knew I should have held on to it. Uh, Robin has a chest key. Why you, Robin? Uh, fine. We'll have Krom and Robin go back here, wasting a whole bunch of time on something that's probably not all that important. Should have done this at the beginning when we were all close by, but I wanted to recruit Gaius. Uh, no one can sign me up. Rob's got a little bit of magic in this thing. That's kind of weird. He got a new skill. That's cool. What does he do? Uh, grants hit slash avoidance plus five to allies within three spaces. That's cool. And Rob's new skill, Solidarity, grants critical slash damage uh, plus ten to all al adjacent allies. That's also really cool. Okay, so Crom and Robert are going to go over there to Emerian. Payne is going to head south. Uh, Frederick, take care of these fools, because you're Frederick and you can do anything. I can do anything. Uh, now that Sumi is gone, we can pair Vake up with Long Ku, I guess. Uh, nothing else over here. Do I want to have Stall go for the boss? Uh, I guess there's no reason not to, but... Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy first, and then we'll think about it. At least reinforcements don't seem to be popping out everywhere. We got no one else. It's just the boss now. Oh, well, we got this guy, but he'll be destroyed by Frederick in five seconds, most likely. All right, head down there. Uh, oh, that's happening. Uh oh. Emerian was supposed to be an easy target. You will pay for interfering in my designs. That's not good. Ugh, end of the road for me. I have to withdraw. Oh boy. Okay, a little bit of damage. Nothing Frederick can't handle. Takes him out. Pets his little horse every time. Very, very cute. Ally phase. Nothing. Okay. Move over here. Uh, let's see what this item is. I snuck in some extra training. I must represent my person, my people proudly. Uh, weapon proficiency. That's good. Sully, what can you do? Not much. And you're gonna get slaughtered. So move back for a bit. End this. He's coming up. Grab this. Hmm, did someone drop this? Maybe Emerian right next to you. Ephraim's Lance. Ran out of spaces, I see. Maybe that'll be good for Sumia. Uh, get away from him, maybe? Don't want to fight him quite yet, so... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on! No, no, no! I didn't think you would do that! Oh, I didn't think you were close enough. Oh, jeez. Don't kill pain. Okay, good. Ally phase. Nothing. Oh, this better be stinking worth it. You can't even talk to her, right? Switch. Chest. What do we got? Secret book. It's actually a tome. Permanently increases skill by two. Okay, it's not a tome. It's an item. Increases skill by two. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, pain will die. God darn it. Switch to Rickon. Rickon's gonna die. Cool! Everyone's dead. Uh, head over here. How far could he reach? Not up here? Okay. Or is that just enough spaces? I think that is just enough spaces. God darn it. Well, that's the case. I want Rickon to die instead. So be the meat shield for the nice lady. Uh, be prepared for a counterattack, I suppose. Uh, stay here, I guess. Now, what do we got? Going for Rickon. Very good. Maybe Pain will come in and save him. Who knows? Nope. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Uh, whatever. Lost a lot more allies than I would have liked in this episode, but oh well. Can't fight in this state. No choice but to pull back. 
Okay, ally phase. Uh, let's go over... Well, I can't really do much over here, so let's not even bother for right now. Don't have any more ranged attackers besides Robin. Huh. Let's go down to 11 pink. You do 11 damage on your own? Maybe. So who do I want to get the finishing blow, I guess? Let's give it to our new ally. Let's do that. Pain, you could finish him off, but hopefully it's in just one attack. I'm gonna regret this, am I? Please don't regret this! I regret it! I have misjudged the strength of these animals. I must fall back. Okay, Longku. The win is yours. Didn't want it to be like that, but whatever. No, this is all wrong. How could you have known the plan? Thank the gods you're safe. Thank you. It is you who I have to thank, Krom. Forgive me. I beg forgiveness, my lord. I failed in my duty. They should have never made it into the castle in the first place. No. Peace, Philia. You couldn't have known what was coming. Only Marth could. What? Marth? Hmm? Yes, I would speak more with... Um... Robin, where's Marth? Um... An excellent question. She was here a moment ago. <clears throat> Not again! Going somewhere? You have a bad habit of leaving without saying goodbye, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I have a few bad habits. <laughs> Good ones as well. You saved my life, as well as both of my sisters. Is there a way I could repay you? Some favor I could grant? <laughs> Hearing you offer is reward enough. Still, there must be something. I already have what I came for. History has been rewritten. Listen. And what future averted? But don't you see? After the Exalt's untimely assassination, the Fire Emblem would be stolen. This, in turn, would lead to a great war, and soon to the end of mankind itself. But I'm sure that sounds like madness to you. No. It doesn't, strangely enough. Somehow I know I could trust you, and I hope someday to repay the favors. All right. Perhaps one day you shall. Until then. Thank you. Brave Tagwell. There are not words to express my gratitude. Hmm. So you know our true name. Um. Sorry, what's a Togwell? Well, 
I am a Togwell. The... The last Togwell. We are shapeshifters. Most of your kind call us Beast. Or Coney in the midst of their hunt. I only helped you because my warren owns Ulyssia debt. Do not think us friends, you and I. Huh? I don't understand. Hmm. Yes, it's precious little your kind seem to understand. It was manspawn like you that invaded our war and slaughtered my people. <laughs> what? Is this true? Who would do such a thing? Good question. Do not act so shocked. You are all the same. Right down to your base desire to ruin and destroy all you touch, even each other. <laughs> there is truth to your words, perhaps. I'm told that in Togwell society, Everyone is treated as an equal. Mankind could have learned much from your warren. The words may come too late and mean too little, but I am deeply sorry. I am so sorry. We have stolen your friends and family and made your world a lesser place. Ugh. Your grace, you had no fault in this. Please. You claim to be blameless, and yet you would apologize? Puh! Your words are but wind. I know, but they are all I have. You seem sincere, man spawn. You feel my pain as your own. I've never felt that before. Look at me. See what I am. I will never trust mankind. But you, perhaps you truly are not like the others. Thank you. All I ask is a chance to earn your trust. How? My purpose is too significant to be thwarted here. Ugh. Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> I am the power that compels you. You will not perish here. It is not written. You must live on to author a destiny greater than you know. What? I impossible! It can't be you! It can't be. <laughs> I am the wings of despair. I am the breath of ruin. I am the fell dragon, Grima. Forgive me. It will take time to investigate how the assassination plot got so far. We have no leads at present. <laughs> it was Plegia, I'm sure of it. They do anything for the emblem. Em, you can't stay here. Come to Ferox where it's safe. I forbid it. And leave the people unfended? War is at our borders, Krom. Do you expect a Ulysses to stand against Plegio without a leader? They must know their exalt stands with them. Still. If something happens to you, what then? Your grace. Perhaps you might relocate to the Eastern Palace for the time being. The other kingdoms know nothing of it. You would be safer. <clears throat> yes, please. At least that. I can't leave for Ferox with you right in harm's way. <clears throat> Very well. Yes. Thanks, Em. I mean it. We'll escort you to the palace before we head north to the border. Remember to take breaks! Well, moment of truth. Do I have Gaius in pain with me? Now we got another path opened up, but more importantly, our crew is looking like... We got Gaius in pain! Okay. We did not lose them, thankfully. 
And it looks like they do keep their level ups even though they get taken down. I'm pretty sure Pam was level 5 when we got her. Uh, I hope that's true because we had a lot of people die in this episode. But we made it out okay somehow. We saved Emeryun and uh, Marth was successful in changing history. How she was able to do it, I'm not sure, but maybe in due time we'll discover what she did. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are escorting Emeryun to the Eastern Castle so we can protect her from the war that's about to take place. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.